Those blinds were originally developed for building ship hulls so that they would slice through the water smoothly. NanoCAD supports splines and provides two different ways of creating them. The commands for drawing splines are in the Home tab, Draw section, but to get at them you'll have to click this little down arrow next to the word Draw, and then there's the two icons for drawing them. I'll first show the spline command with the Fit Points option. So I click that, and then here you can see that I've drawn some line segments in grey. The intersections will be the control points for the two different splines that I'll show you how to draw. Right, so I'll pick the first point here and then just carry on picking at the various intersections. Now you can see as I do, the spline is beginning to be drawn with very smooth curves. The final prompts on the command line ask me to provide the start and end tangencies. And this point, I'm just going to simply press enter to all the prompts. I've changed the color to red so we can distinguish it from the next spline that I will draw. The second way to draw a spline in NanoCAD is to use control points. So I'm going to click the second spline button here and then come back into the drawing and click on the same intersection points of that line. So there's my first point and my second one. As I click you can see that the spline looks very different from the first one. It seems to want to avoid the line more. And then again as I come to the end I again keep pressing enter until the command ends. I've changed the color of the control point spline to light blue so that it can be distinguished from the others. To edit the shape of a spline you select it and then drag it by the grips. So I'm going to grab this one and as I pull it back and forth you can see how it smoothly adjusts its shape. Most of the rest of the spline is unaffected. The other thing you can ch change then is the end point. So I'm going to move this back and forth and you can see how it curves. There's also this arrow here which lets you adjust the tangency of the end point, how it connects to another point. When splines have control vertices, the control points are not on the spline itself. And so you can see how far away they are. And then again, as I pull it back and forth, it changes its shape very smoothly. And then to change the tangency of the end point, you click the round grip, grab the triangular grip, and move it around. The Properties Palette lets you change the look of splines as well. So select the spline you want to edit, and then look at the Properties Palette. Here we see we can change it between fit and control vertice modes. And up, both of these give you different kinds of controls. First thing I want to show you is closing the spline and you get that sort of a shape. I'll open it up again. And then the other significant parameter is fit tolerance, which determines how far the spline is away from its control points. So let me stick in a number one and you see it moves just a little bit. Put in a 10 and it's further, 100 and it's quite a bit further away from its original points. Now let's select the other spline which was drawn using control points. Closing it makes it look like that. I'll open it up again. And the other thing you can change on is the number of degrees and that's basically the number of points that are used between each control point. So I'm going to increase this to 4, 5, 6, press enter to apply it, and now you see that there's an far more points and each one of these can now be individually manipulated. But there is a catch, you can't go backwards. So if I go back down again, back down to 3 and press enter, NanoCAD is not happy with me. Once you've increased it, you can no longer decrease the number of control points. Mm -hmm.